Hello and welcome back to another episode of RX Real. I'm super excited to start a series about the dual degree programs that Mercer offers here. So you can get a PharmD combined with several other um, master's programs and it's a super awesome opportunity to get everything all in your four years here. So we have someone here today to talk about her program. So I'm gonna let her introduce herself and talk about the program that she's currently enrolled in. All right, so my name is Chi Chi Uba, and I am currently enrolled in the PharmD MBA program right here at Mercer. So why did you choose the MBA program? So I chose the PharmD MBA program because I have hopes to land a career in the pharmaceutical industry. Industry is an area of pharmacy where the people that you meet usually come from a vast array of um, different pharmaceutical or professional backgrounds, and I felt that obtaining the doctorate of pharmacy, the master's of business, coupled with my undergrad in biochemistry would further prepare me for a industry role. Okay. And what did the application process look like for the PharmD MBA program? So Mercer treats it as two separate applications instead of a one application thing. Mm -hmm. um, you at, only after applying to the school of for, to the um, pharmacy school of pharmacy mm -hmm. can you now apply to the school of business. Okay. Um, you check off obviously you would have to check off your um, pharmacy requirements. Make sure that you take your PCAT. Once the school of business gets feedback mm -hmm. that they that you've been accepted, only then will they tend to check off all your. Um, undergrad requirements, see if you've taken economics, see if you've taken your basic maths, and then they'll allow you to begin that process and assign you an advisor who will now give you your schedule and everything, so on. Okay. So what does your schedule look like compared to a typical PharmD student? Rigorous, cluttered, to say the least. Um, a lot of time management goes on. Um, so as far as my on-campus schedule, um, my pharmacy classes typically begin maybe around 9 to 10 latest in the morning and then um, that's how my day begins and then I end my day with my business classes that usually end around 10 30 to 11 p.m. <laughs> at night so um, you could see where the time management comes in because I'm utilizing that in between time to study um, I'm utilizing that in between time to eat and the um, after hours, obviously, or, or AM hours, to study and get everything that I need to <laughs> get in here. How many classes per semester are you taking for the MBA program in addition to your pharmacy classes? Two to three. So. So you're definitely over full time yeah, hours. Yeah, definitely over. Um, because usually, like I said, they like I said earlier, they add, they um, assign you an advisor that will um, tell you about your classes, set everything up, and kind of advise you on how to go about it, knowing that you're taking on an extra degree. So, um, and that advisor is separate from those that are just in the MBA um, program. And usually, they are already anticipating and they advise you not to take classes your P2 semester. P2 is obviously like the hardest um, year that we will take in the pharmacy mm -hmm. world. And so you usually are doubling, tripling up on classes P1 year and P3 year. Okay. And definitely heavy in the P1 summer. So I think I took like three, four classes this summer. Yes. Just took my last final like a week ago. Oh, yay. <laughs> so you're not taking any classes during P2 year? Not at all. Some, um, I, thought about it in the spring. Okay. We will see how soft our spring semester is, and if so, only one. But, I mean, no. <laughs> okay, so how long will it take you to complete the MBA program in total? So Mercer tells you that it's an 18 month process. Um, however, realistically, like I said, with your advisor, um, it should still take you 18 months, however those 18 months are spread. So when you look at it in totality, maybe about three years. You know because saying? you have time off in there in for the P2 year. year. So. Okay. Um, what would you say the most important thing for those considering pursuing the PharmD MBA 
degree would be? Do you have any advice for people who might be interested in doing the same thing? Okay. Time management is a big one. Um, balance is another one. And understanding why you are taking up the dual degree that you're taking up. Um, I'll expand a little bit on each. Started with time management because it's, it's a lot. Um, your schedule is quite hectic. There are a lot of classes. It's really easy to fall behind um, because you don't have the regular schedule that everyone else has. You right. don't have the amount of time that everyone else has. So being able to schedule in when to study or when to eat or <laughs> when to kind of just take a breather um, and just I, honestly, I keep like a planner. I program things in my phone write things down, sticky notes on my laptop, so time management is a big one. Balance, because um, understanding that yes, you are into grad programs, and though that is your life, you do need some balance in there, because you will completely just drown in all that it is. So balance is a big one, finding some recreational activities, things outside of school, even if it's just one day in the weekend. So I try to, even with studying, I try to study or go to class and look at my notes and do all of that during the week and leave myself, even if it's half of my Saturday, like Saturday morning to Saturday evening, for me to just do whatever. If it's read, if it's go out with friends, if it's just anything recreational, you know? Yeah. Um, and then just continue, obviously, Saturday night and Sunday. <sighs> um, and the last one is really understanding, I think that's the big one, is really understanding the why, understanding why you are part of that program. Mm -hmm. Because anyone can say that they're signing up for two programs and it makes it look good, but if you don't understand um, why you are obtaining this degree, is it checking off a requirement for something that you need in your end goal? Is it, um, a, is it something that you know is a necessity or is essential to you mm -hmm. in your career path? If you don't understand that, that end goal is what I use as my bigger picture when the studying just it won't end and it gets overwhelming. So if you don't understand why you're doing it, you're just kind of like overloading yourself for no reason. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? You're just studying and your friends are going out and you're just there continuing to study and you don't really have anything that's an anchor for you. You know what I mean? What has been your favorite part of your MBA program so far? stuff lots of studying so fun um, it would have to be being able to understand and I don't know if any of the other I'm sure the other dual degree programs have their moments but being able to understand how the business world really does trickle into pharmacy mm -hmm. you know so when we have those man like our management class when we took the pharmaceutical management class um, it was cool to understand why things are placed in the pharmacy because we have to learn that in mm -hmm. our business classes understanding even something as simple as balance sheets and accounting yeah. and all of that kind of stuff and really understanding the background of the pharmacy understanding how to check your checks and balances basically yeah it's it's cool it's cool to see there's definitely been several classes where we've all looked towards the MBA students because we know that you guys have already learned all of the yes. economic stuff that we may be not as strong in if we are not in that program so well anything else you want to add about your experience in the PharmD MBA program Maybe just ending on a positive note. Um, I know that those that are watching, you're probably like, okay, yeah, I definitely don't want to do this. She said studying like three, four, five different times. She said endless hours, like at least like twice I counted. But um, I just want to end on a positive, note, a positive note and say that regardless of those long hours or um, feeling like, oh, you have this extra load and your friends are not, um, going through as much as you're going through and no one really understands like I said it's tying it to that end goal mm -hmm. and it's understanding that impact that you will make in pharmacy in healthcare and understanding you know like I, I, I matter like I can do something with this degree yeah. and like it's cool like it sets you apart um, it definitely helps you understand you're multifaceted when you get out there you know like you understand things from multiple lenses instead of just one thing. Yeah. So I definitely encourage anybody who 
um, is who looked into it before this video and heard so many study like studying. Um, anyone who had an interest in it, um, definitely take it up and explore that other side that you kind of didn't even know that you had, that strength that you didn't yeah. even know that you had, you know? Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. And um, <laughs> I'm sure she's answered a lot of questions and you may have some more um, about the MBA program um, or the dual degree, other dual degree programs. So I'll put some resources down um, below where you can find some more information about that. And um, thank you so much to Chi Chi for coming and talking to us. Thank you for having me. <laughs>